Riviera Beach is one of America's most beautiful ocean resorts with many hard-working families, but also like much of the country, also has the homeless. ministry of St. Mark's Episcopal Church in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, and St. George's Episcopal Church in Riviera Beach is more than just a feeding program for the poor and homeless. It is an intergenerational apostolic action involving youth where both the ministry of deed and the word is experienced by both the servers and the servers. So why do you volunteer at St. George's? Uh, my name is Suzanne Sperry and I've been uh, volunteering here at St. George's probably for the past, I don't know, eight or more years. I love coming here. And I think that we do a great job. The people are so, so grateful for uh, what we give them. The meal is very delicious. It's home cooked by the people of St. Mark's Church. So it's a very personal dinner. Um, we say a little prayer at each table. We have them come in and um, we try to make it, you know, not a, an assembly line, but something like really moving and touching for them. I think it's a, a wonderful program. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the opportunity today to be here, to be with each other, and to, to do your work. Father, we thank you and praise you. We invite you to be with us, guys. Last time we had three children, we were hoping to have more. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 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 Has St. George's helped you? All the time. It's beautiful. You like the food here? Excellent. An important part of the program has been not only the participation of youth in the preparation and feeding of the meals, but also in hearing testimony of the homeless and then reflecting upon it with youth counselors. The testimony you are about to hear is from a homeless man, Steve who participates in St. George's Bible study and outdoor visiting Eucharist done weekly in the parks where many of the homeless can be found during the day. Screened homeless volunteers from this program work side by side with the youth volunteers during the field. Hi. Hi, I'm Steve. I'm from Riviera Beach for the past 16 years. I've been in Florida a long time, 30 years. Uh, I'm just here to talk to you about the uh, the negative effects of addictions, and in my case, what I can relate to is drug addictions and alcohol addictions. But all addictions are the same, and a lot of consequences are the same too. Uh, I'll tell you from my point of view as far as drugs, uh, I know you guys are all being brought up in good families. I was brought up in a great family. I had everything I needed. And for whatever reasons, I turned to drugs and alcohol to make me feel better about myself. and feel like I was a good person and valuable and all that, and at first, you guys are going to face a lot of peer pressure, no matter how you're being brought up, you're going to face a lot of peer pressure. And you may, may or may not be tempted, but if you are, and you start to do it, you're going to think it's okay, and you have control of it. It's all an okay thing, and you can stop when you want. But it doesn't work that way. Not with most people. I've been in that 35 years of my life, and I always thought I could kick it when I wanted, and it just got worse and worse and worse. And as far as the negative things about it, you will give up everything you are just to stay high. Every good thing about you, you will give it up. And I'm talking from experience, and maybe you won't give up some of the things, but the longer you go, the more you'll give up. And what I'm talking about is the things in your spirit, okay? You'll give up wanting to be a good person. You'll start to steal. You know, you'll give up your, moral, your morals and your ethics. You'll give up everything just to stay high. And you'll become so destitute that you won't know what loving anybody is anymore. And you'll realize, you'll think you love yourself. You'll fool yourself into thinking that you're okay and you won't. Uh, you know, there are people out there that function when they drink. So if you get addicted, you will give up everything that's good about you. I, I didn't know where I was going with this. I could go for, for hours. So I'm just kind of winging it. So there's a lot of negative aspects and everything I say will happen. Some people it happens automatically. It took me 35 years. And I'm lucky. I, I should have been dead probably 20 years ago, a couple times over. I'm lucky. I still got my senses about it. Without me, I could communicate in, intellectually. I'm so lucky, you know, I'm so thankful. But that doesn't happen with most people. You will die, and you will experience all them things 
that you've heard about hospitals and mental institutions. I've been through all of them. I've survived them all. Okay. So I'm just telling you to beware and pay attention to your good, uh, the people who are trying to be role models to you, your parents and your churches. What they teach has some essence to it, it really does. So to end on a good note, I have found out by, by surrendering at the different points I have that you really do have God in you. And all you have, and God is everything. And everything you'll ever need is inside of you. You don't have to find it through outside things like drugs or, or cars. It's not bad to have cars and houses and stuff, but don't base your value on it. All your value is in here, and it's just love. And my only suggestion is once you really realize that and you start giving out, you'll find out you don't need nothing outside of yourself and the God that's in you to be a great, really good person. Wait, wait, wait stay over again. Yeah, stay over again. When I say, okay, ready? Let yeah. me know on you. All right. What's the word? Action. Action. Thank you, Janet. Okay. Uh, Mason, uh, we're at Sea Kitchen today. What did you uh, learn or experience here? Oh, that just because people are needy doesn't mean that they're like scary and they're all nice people. Good. And they're just normal people. And, uh, cool. Did you learn anything else from like the speakers that were? That, yeah, we or? learned we learned about drug addiction and how it could turn your life around. Very good. Anything else you want to say about wow. today? Okay. So Kayla, what is your experience today here at Soup Kitchen? Um, well, we serve the homeless, but we also heard a couple guys talk about their experiences with drug addictions and issues in their lives. Did you learn anything from their testimony or anything? Yeah, I learned that it's just really important to stay on top of what you're doing and make sure you know what the consequences of your actions are because there's always going to be things. And to make sure that you stay with doing what's right and make sure your life goes the way you want it to go. Cool. 